Okay. Oh, all right, you go. Right. Yeah. Okay, so is it starting now or like do we do I start talking on? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's going live. It's fine. Okay. But you're yeah, you're talking right now. You're unmuted. Okay. Super Smash Brothers. This is our first game out of the whole season. God, it's weird to hear my own voice. <laughs> oh, okay. So today, today we're going against Odyssey High School, right? No, no. No? Per oh, God. It's Perry. Didn't they win last last game la last time? Uh, okay, cool. This is just the audio test, right? Okay, then cool. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of nervous now that I can hear myself. <laughs> I don't know what channel called. Like, <laughs> I'm just going back to high esports. I don't know where I'm going. Do uh, this one right.
Alrighty, guys, here we are. The start of a new season of Bash of High School Super Smash Brothers Esports. Today, we're going against the pair. What? what? Well, we're going against Perry. Uh, they're the home team today, and we are the way. So, they, so they have to set the arena, and we're going in right now. You can hear the passcode being set as we're going into a game. To first up, we have Nathan, who's mostly a Greninja main, and uh, he plays me. Well, they're not watching. <laughs> Wait. All right, what's your character? Greninja. Starting off strong. I can't. <laughs> Okay, so we're watching. Yes. Okay, we're waiting for the stage selection to be chosen, and right now, all I know is that our character Nathan wants to play Final Destination, so we're aiming to do that. Uh, Perry first strikes are getting Smashville, which is kind of unusual because most people don't want to play Smashville in the first place. Uh, Smashville is great, uh, if you guys didn't know, it has a really large, a really large blast zone, so it's easier to live hits, it's better for everyone all around, I don't know if you're talking about it. Okay, we bound, we banned Battlefield and Town and City, so it's, the two options are Pokemon Stadium 2 and Final Destination. Okay, so we're playing Pokemon Stadium 2. Players switching to Pokemon Stadium 2 now as they enter the arena. Yep. Here we go. First match of the whole entire season. Everyone, hold on to your seats and buckle your seatbelts because this is going to be a long ride. Greninja starting out, trying to zone out against Samus. Uh, not really a w chosen character that often. Greninja spacing out with a back air, as Greninja also just... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I can hear myself. Okay. Okay, then we're good. Okay. Back into the game. Technical difficulties. Samus is getting destroyed right now with a 141%. Greninja only at 45, having a huge HP lead. Greninja trying to ledge guard gets back at Aaron while a neutral B coming towards them. Greninja trying to get a neutral B to kill them with a water shark and on the forward smash kills Nathan. Oh, but he comes back with an up smash back to an even HP. Uh, you can see Samus going for a grab because it usually starts with a grab down air combo. We can see Greninja trying to space them off ledge. Uh, Samus. Down B on the up B pet on stage, which is kind of weird. Oh, and Samus does not recover. Greninja taking the really big lead, almost slapping them in HP. Getting hit with a neutral beach. Greninja still just trying to hopping around using their agility to, in order to just dodge all of Samus's slow and clunky moves. 
Greninja goes to the dash attack over the jab combo. Oh, oh, we didn't get the jab lock, but the up smash does a lot. <laughs> Sam is trying to space him out left forward tilt. Greninja trying to approach neutral air to forward air. <laughs> Almost a, a spike. Greninja doesn't get it. Sits down here. It's really not that great. Oh, goes for the grab. Up B on Sage by Samus. Weird choice, but we're okay. Wait, their opponent's playing less than optimal. And the forward smash kills. I think I'm... And we ha have Bastia taking the first game of the set. Okay, so as we know, after we win a match, the next team gets to counter pick our character. Nathan going also Greninja again. We'll see if they choose to counter pick or they trying to stick with Samus. And they, and now we also have to wait for stage selection again with three new maps entering the rotation with Kalos. A small battlefield and Yoshi's in Yoshi story, yeah. Uh, all stages hazards are all, all off, so Pokemon uh, Yoshi story. You won't see a fly guy with like cake or like foods in order to heal yourself because that's also unfair. Okay, so they have switched to. Mr. Game and Watch. Uh, don't know their matchup too well. Uh, their down B can at least absorb. Wait, no, it can't absorb. It doesn't. It reflects uh, Greninja's neutral B. The only way they get their down B to actually do do damage is to get the, their up B with their up B. If you didn't know, Basha High School has three different teams. We have Varsity, JV Green, and JV Gold. So, it's going to be like a bit of chaos since this is our first time. <laughs> but we're figuring it out, and I'm sure as we go on, it's going to get a lot more, well, progressively better. Okay, so we're playing Battlefield, which is very bad for Greninja because of platforms. Unless he gets, like, the up air. A lot of these characters can just, like, easily poke out of platforms. As you see, as I talked about earlier, the down B reflects the neutral B instead of taking it. Gets to them with a neutral... Oh, fuck. Neutral air. Oh, sorry. Oh, goes for the up tilt with the drag down combos. Even on Battlefield, it, you can still hit those even with the platforms. Mr. Game & Watch is trying to use their neutral B, but Greninja can just outspace them with their water shuriken. And the down air is trying to hit them with, like, a little bit of chip damage. They're going for a very silly strategy with their judges. If you didn't know, Game & Watch has this mechanic oh huge kill having a huge hp lead and in stock anyways they're going for judges which has a very small chance to get an instant ko move it has to connect though and the drag down combo again you can tell this man has spent way too long in the training room 
hours I'm talking. Tries to block him with a uppy and gets a up, up smash. Almost a zero death, you can hear him. Greninja tried to s s jump around him. That's like the same thing with Samus. Both of these characters have like really bad frame data so that you have to like really pre-plan where you're gonna hit or where they go. Where Greninja has really quick uh, low damage moves so you can get a lot of damage only if you hit them with a lot of moves. Uh, stuffing them out with the four until, uh, Mr. Game is trying to get up smash. You can see that this matchup is not really going well for Greninja, as they're not e I mean, not Greninja, Mr. Game and Watch, because they're not even at 100 right now. Greninja is kind of wiping the floor. Tries to get the counter, doesn't really get it. The down air, watching them sky high. Oh god, I can hear my list. This is terrible. Anyways, back air almost kills. Greninja water shuriken charges up and up smash gets a kill. Three stalking, three stalking them without even getting to 100%. Greninja and Nathan, and Nathan, getting to their first game of the whole entire season. So, Gigo, you're up. And I'm up next. Wish me luck, guys. Can you guys hear me now? I can definitely hear. Can you like lower the volume a bit? Hello, 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 hello. All right, I think this is good. Okay, okay. All right, so Gigo is a very good player. He was just the last commentator, but we are about to see what he plays first. All right, let's see what stage it is. All right, Pokemon Stadium Two. That's a good stage, and it looks like Bay and it looks like Bayonet is being played by Gigo today versus the Cloud. All right, so we're playing PS Two, so that could be good for Bayonetta for the combos, but we'll have to see. 
All right. All right, she goes doing pretty good. We got the cloud spacing. All right. Okay, the nice side beat. Got oh, he's got 50 damage on Bayonetta so far and only 1%. So Bayonetta not looking too good right now. Okay, he's attempting the combos, but not too well so far. All right, it looks like Bandit is having trouble approaching, but let's see how he does it so far. Because he got 44% so far. Ooh, the nice B by the Cloud. Okay, the Bayonet is spacing. Just trying to get off some damage to uh, equalize against the Cloud. Ooh, that was a nice smash attack. Got him all the way back down to zero. He's got the stock advantage, but he is at 100%. So he can be easily killed. But can the cloud... But then the, can the cloud approach him enough to get the KO? Wait, we'll have to see. Five, eight, wow, already 100% again. Okay. And the ST, that's gotta hurt. Now he's at a two stock disadvantage and he took barely any extra percent against the Bayonetta. Bayonetta, I can't speak. All right. Almost, almost a cloud red by doing a, <laughs> a dive. Okay. Puck's struggling, but... He's almost got the KO. Alright, Bayonetta getting some easy damage with the guns. It does not look like Cloud is doing well at spacing, and he's having trouble to approach against Bayonetta's combos. Ooh, alright. The nice air dodge. Ooh, the witch time! Ah, uh, but Jigo cannot punch that, and unfortunately, Jigo does not get the three stock. But let's see if he can get the two stock, or if Cloud is going to keep his dignity. Ah, uh, and the Witch Time Smash Attack kill. Jigo is the first one to win at Basha High School, doing pretty good. One against Perry, and they have a set stock advantage on the next game. Alright, we'll just have to see what comes out now, because it looks like Perry or Basha High School gets to ban the first three, but they do get to pick the stage. So we'll see if they can counter pick Jigo. But he is a very versatile player, so he's not exactly going Bayonetta again. But let's see if Perry can counter them. Maybe just an all-around character like Captain Falcon or Cloud again. Just to have that advantage of knowledge. Whoa! We got Jigo over here with the strategizing. Deciding to play Roy, but not saying which one it is. Either the Bowser Jr. clone or the actual character Roy. <laughs> or maybe he's not even going Roy. Who knows? Okay, looks like Hugo looks like he's going Morton. All right, that's a good play. Looks like we are having a little bit of trouble connecting right now, but we'll get this fixed up pretty quick. All right, they're going cloud. Okay, they're going Cloud again. Just trying to go with their main, keep what they know, hope that it works out better this time against Morton. 
Though, Cloud looks like it had some trouble approaching, and Bowser Jr. does have some good projectiles and a pretty good side B, allowing him to get really close to Cloud and possibly without the Cloud being able to react. And it looks like Basher is banning Battlefield, Final Destination, and Pokemon Stadium 2. Looks like Giga was not a fan of the of the Pokemon Stadium 2, considering that he did lose a stock. So let's see if in this next game, he can get a three-star kill against the Cloud, now knowing what they're going for, and able to pick a character they're comfortable with. You know, this Splatoon music is going hard. And it looks like they're choosing to play Kalos Pokemon League. That is a good stage, and it does have platforms, but they are on the edge. So we'll see how this works out for both the Cloud and the Morton. I don't want to be biased, but I am pulling for the Morton. Because it is Basha High, and I am Basha High. <laughs> All right, starting with the block for the projectile. All right, the fork. Okay, Cloud doing damage, but he is at twenty six percent so far. Obviously, that doesn't mean much until you get the stock, but it is a disadvantage of some kind. Now the Cloud does have the percent advantage. But it looks like Morton is coming up and getting 47. Ooh, but the side B does a lot of damage, getting him back up to 65 and getting the advantage again. Ooh, ooh, Cloud weighs his limit with the B miss, but can he get it again? Or could he just kill without it? That was a pretty good smash attack. At the percent advantage. Okay. Morton's doing pretty good. Ooh, the pretty good play using the projectile to force the uppy mean that Cloud would not have been able to recover either way. And the Morton having combos, which is crazy to think about because I've never seen a Bowser Jr. player. But obviously, Digo knows what he's doing. Okay. Already has the percent advantage in the section, and he got the star. All right, we're looking at a possible three star here. Only at ninety-seven percent, and Chico looking pretty good. Okay, Cloud able to recover from that because Chico was not able to punish. But let's see how this goes. All right, the side B spamming seems to be working out for the Morton. I mean, if Cloud isn't able to punish it, then why not go for it? It's the parry to smash tech kill. That's it. All right, Basha high, 2-0 against Perry. I'm not biased, but Perry is looking a little bit weak over here. <laughs> I. So that was two of our varsity players, and now we have our third one coming up, Daniel, and let's see how he plays. And who he plays with. I know he has some mains, uh, like Incineroar, Mewtwo, I mean, those are really the only people I've seen him. Oh, Gigo, you want to come to it now? You want, you want, do you? All right. I looks like I'm staying here, guys. <laughs> and Gigo is here to watch the varsity game with me. Alright, let's see who Daniel goes with. She does like the Pokemon, but 
We already had Greninja playing, so maybe they learned how to counter the Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, it looks like Incineroar, though. He is not changing it up, going with what he knows best. With the gr I know he's very good with the counters, so if they choose a potential projectile character, Incineroar might be able to get some easy combos, or easy revenges, and do some very good damage if he hits those attacks. But we'll have to see what they go with. Yeah. All right, ban battlefield. All right, looks like they are not a fan of the battlefield. But let's see what Daniel bans. I know he's a really good friend. Fan of Final Destination. So, if it were me, I would totally ban Smashville and Town City. But it's not me. So let's see what Daniel does. Maybe he's been practicing the Town City. Who knows? Alright, it looks like he banned Town and Smashville. Just as I would. Alright, Daniel being pretty good over here. And we have Pokemon Stadium 2 and Final Destination to choose. Gigo's still drinking his Coca-Cola, getting ready for his next round when it comes up. Pokemon Stadium 2, that is a good stage, but I don't know if Incineroar is tall enough to hit- Ooh, they picked Meta Knight! Okay, I don't think his up smash is tall enough to go through the platform if Incineroar is on it. So this is a very strange pick, but maybe he's got some combos that we just don't know about. So we'll have to see. Okay, it looks like never mind. Oh, well, no, we are playing PS2, but they have not picked it. Okay. All right. What stage is it? It is the PS2. So we'll see how this goes. And Swinnerwork does have the home court advantage. But, maybe Meta Knight's been practicing here. Both of them playing a little bit defensive, not approaching. They Neither of them do have projectiles, so they do need to approach each other. So this is a very unique game here, where neither of them can just stay back and rack up damage. It really is who gets to the other one the safest. And so far, it's looking like Incineroar is doing the best. Having only 39% to Meta Knight 70%. That is a very good advantage. It's Incineroar doing the up air combos. Meta Knight trying to get away. And he did get away. But he was unable to block. And he's gone. 39% only first stock against Meta Knight's lost stock. Where is he going? Planet Pop? <laughs> Oh, Meta Knight is able to recover from- Whoa! Okay, that looked like an SD. Unfortunate for Perry High, and Basha High is still doing pretty good. Remember, I am not biased, but I am a little bit biased. And Perry High going for two SDs in one game. Incineroar able to get the second three stock of this tournament. So he's got the easy advantage here, but who knows, maybe Perry was planning the strategy so they can pick the stage and get the character counter pick. I'll 
All right, it looks like Daniel here is still going with the Incineroar, comfortable with that last game, and thinking he can pull it out again. Maybe he'll even get another three star. They are picking Pokemon Trainer. It looks like Perry High is trying to capture Incineroar, hoping to, I don't know, kill it? Catch it? Faint it? I don't know, this is a Pokemon battle, so we will have to see. And it looks like Basha High is banning Yoshi's Island, Town and City, and Smashville. Personally, those are my least favorite stages, so I understand these picks. But, it is not Basha High to decide what stage, it is Perry. So let's see who they pick. Well, they picked Pokemon Trainer, but let's see where they go to. They were the ones who picked PS2 last time, so they might go the same place, thinking they have an advantage there. But, if Sonora does have the Pokemon advantage. Call of Pokemon League. Another Pokemon stage. Very unique. And it looks like Pokemon Trainer is not going for a card skin. Personally, I think that's a throw there, but I don't know. Maybe regular Charizard is just better than Shiny Charizard. Alright, starting out here, 0% from both players. Squirtle getting the easy side be 16%. And the disrespect bounce. Okay, and it looks like Incineroar is not able to touch the Agile Squirtle. But when he does touch him, he does a lot of damage. Squirtle is at 53 already, and Squirtle is a very light kick. Alright, the switch dodge there. That's pretty good. And he gets the side B. That's very good damage on the Ivysaur. And he switched to Charizard, a very bulky, heavy mod. So it will be harder to kill this Charizard. But it does have a larger hitbox. So maybe Incineroar is able to get off a lot more damage here. Ooh, he missed the side B and lost to the Char 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 Charizard Flare Bliss. Alright. Sonor able to pro off the first stock, but he is at 73%. Which does not seem to be too bad of a disadvantage, considering they're already at 68. Wow. The upbeats to try to force some distance between them. Okay, but the Incineroar, even though it's the slowest character in the game, it looks like they're easily approaching the Squirtle. And we got another two-stock potential, maybe even a three-stock. Ivysaur coming down, Flare Bliss from the Charizard. Ooh! Okay! Zero-stock? I don't know what that was. Zero to death? Three-stock again? Wow! Now that was a very good game there. Bachelorette 3 versus Perry 0. Remember, I am not biased, but Bachelorette is kind of beating Perry's butt out here. So, it looks like... Am I up now? We're done? That's it? Oh! Alright! Well, I mean... Okay. I mean, you know, we kind of just like... Two, two, two stock killed him. I don't know. I mean, like, we're pretty good, guys. Batcha High is really a good opponent this time in esports. We might be able to make it to the championships, but we'll have to see. All right, guys. It looks like we're signing off now. Thank you for tuning in, and see you next time.